Yeah, we, it was a mess, and so we uh, they they, uh, they can't uh, accept the uh, the deal, but at the same time uh, they don't want to have a no uh, deal Brexit. And I think when 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 I was looking at this, uh, the clip that you just had before, and I'm not, if I count the number of cheers, when you got to a point that it was this uh, be going to the second referendum, it sounded like it had the most claps and cheers. So. I think, and that's one of the reasons that the pound had a strong rally last night. Um, first of all, um, I mean, if the default position is hard Brexit, and now that's unlikely, so we most likely will get some extension. But out of that, I think the possibility of another referendum is on the rise now, and that's what uh, the pound's uh, positive uh, move last night shows. So a second referendum would be further positive, do you think, for the pound? And what about for Asian equities as well? We did initially see uh, a rally this morning when markets opened up across the region on the back of the fact that a no deal had essentially been taken off of the table. But where to from here if we continue uh, to see this uh, chug along with no resolution? And then, of course, we may see a second referendum. You're right. I mean, as long as uh, the uncertainty will remain. Uh, for now, uh, we have uh, the likelihood of Brexit as it was is uh, being reduced and uh, the possibility of a second referendum and maybe no Brexit um, has gone up. But that uncertainty will remain. So uh, we, we either will have a snap election. If there's a snap election, obviously, uh, we have to deal with the possibility of Corbyn, uh, an anti-euro, you know, quite a quote left to uh, quite a... Uh, uh, on the extreme left uh, to, uh, to just uh, become, uh, to be, be elected. So that's a possibility. And if that happens, obviously, uh, that would be more negative headlines and bad news. So around that, uh, the political drama that we're seeing in UK, I think the main um, issue for uh, Asian equities and Asian risk assets is China. And so far, we've had some uh, hope uh, some uh, light at the end of the tunnel in terms of courage, growth, and the authorities' uh, conviction uh, to, to stimulate uh, growth. So markets have had a pretty good, strong rebound. And today, after the data that we saw uh, not long ago, um, a lot of those gains were given back. And uh, we, when we look at industrial production, uh, it was the lowest um, and the weakest in many years. So it just looks like, as the data comes out, it looks like the slowdown that we had in China uh, has been weaker than or a lot deeper than market had been expecting. Hey, everybody. It's Hadley Gamble from our new CNBC Middle East Bureau in Abu Dhabi. Thanks for stopping by. Now, to watch more, you can try one of the videos that just popped up on your screen. And don't forget to subscribe.